So today we are back with a brand new YouTube video. This is the second week in a row. I told you guys I'm coming back. Probably don't believe me because I said about five times now, but yeah, you know, we're staying on track. Today I'm gonna be going over to the gym and training with my brand new bodybuilding coach who you guys have seen in my last prep series. If you guys were watching that, his name is Wadi. Uh, he's a guy that I actually met at Armbrust uh, years ago, like when I moved to Colorado. So he was helping coach me in the gym. Steve was doing my diet. Well, because he lives here and you know he's a great guy, he has tons of pros under his belt. He, coach, he has coached many different Olympians, including Jeremy Bundia this year who got eighth place. So yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I think we're gonna work well together and he's in person. So he's gonna be my coach uh, moving forward instead of Steve. And that's the only reason why really is because he's in person and I just think it's a lot you know, more beneficial. And also, like I said, he's very accomplished and a great coach. So he's gonna be putting me through a chest and maybe some shoulder uh, workout today and his methods guys are truly you know methods that you want to learn and implement in your training so definitely watch this entire workout if you guys want some tricks tips on how to you know hit muscles differently do things in a little bit more of a unique way that's what I assume he'll put me through today because that's what he's always put me through is those unique type of workouts that are just a little bit different I mean there's really no reinventing the wheel in bodybuilding, but at the same time, there's different little tricks that these you know guys who've been doing it for 30 years know that some of us don't. So yeah, you'll get a lot of knowledge out of it. Should be a really good workout. I'm definitely feeling a lot better already in terms of you know coming back to my my regular form. I've been training hard, dieting, eating. I think I said in the last video for maybe six weeks now. And come January, I'm actually going to be starting uh, my first cycle in like two and a half, three years. Now I'm doing right now about 90 to 110 milligrams of test, give or take a week. And I'm gonna be bumping that to either five or 600 milligrams. So I'm gonna save you know, what I'm doing for hair safety, health support, and the actual exact cycle for a later video when I actually start the cycle. But that is what I'm gonna be doing in January for not taking anything right now besides essentially TRT, I do feel really solid and I'm back over 190 in the morning. I'm 5'9", so definitely get my strength back. I could probably bench 315 for five right now. So yeah, I'm in a good spot and I'm really excited to just continue to put muscle back on, uh, you know, train and eat the right way to do those things. And I'm gonna keep bringing you guys through that journey. Uh, so with that said, I'm gonna show you guys the pre-workout meal that we're working with. Uh, I'm about to eat that right now. I personally like to eat my pre-workout meal, you know, start eating it about two hours, 15 minutes before my workout. So maybe two and a half hours so that I am, you know, the meal is completely done by about, you know, hour and 45 uh, before the workout. And I have a good amount of time to really digest it. And also that helps your pre-workout work better. Uh, if you eat way too close to the gym, like let's say you start eating an hour before the gym and you finish 45 minutes before, then you take your pre-workout 15 minutes later, it's actually not gonna saturate your body as well uh, and be as effective and same thing with the pump products. So yeah, with that said, we're gonna eat up and then also I'm gonna show you guys what pump product and uh, just pre-workout that I'll be taking today as well. And then we're gonna head over to the gym. We're gonna hit this workout with Wadi, primarily chest uh, focus, probably throw some shoulders in, should be a really fun time maybe some good banter, so yeah. I'll see you guys over at the workout. I don't know why, I just had a brain glitch. Oh yeah, also super random, but uh, got dishes in the sink. This is my new house, I have not showed you guys at all. I probably won't do a house tour at all, um, but this is like the main floor of our new house. Um, super dope, usually I've always showed where I lived in other videos. Not probably gonna do that this time, but yeah, this is kind of what the first floor looks like. You guys will probably just be seeing random spots of that in these videos. Salus. Whoa. Salus, take it easy, buddy. This is my cat, Salus. I'm really bad at YouTube, so I'm just filming my cat. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute for the pre-workout meal. All right, so this is my pre-workout meal right here. A massive fucking bowl of food. Like I told you guys in the last video, I am only eating three meals per day, so I have to really pack those meals densely. I will be moving to four when I start my cycle, but yeah, as of right now, we're doing that. And that's about one and a half, two cups of rice, and then eight and a half ounces of uh, ground bison. Uh, ground bison is a really high quality red meat to consume, has tons of nutrients, iron, zinc, magnesium, all the good stuff that you want. So I try to eat a lot of red meat, especially like when I can have more calories and it has a little more fat in it. I love white rice before my workout because it just, it digests so fast, right? So it'll digest like boom, within an hour, hour 15 minutes, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be feeling fully digested. So 
I highly recommend you guys stick to stuff like white rice pre-workout, a nice, simple, easily digested carb to utilize for your workout, but something that's not gonna be too heavy uh, and, and you know still digesting and it makes you tired during your workout, pulls all the blood to the stomach, creates worse off pumps. This meal right here that you just saw is actually a mega fit meal. Now they don't sponsor me. I actually bought these, spent like $600 on their site buying a ton of meals. They're really good and the reason I bought them is because it just takes me forever to cook all day, especially as I get up to four or five meals potentially a day. I just grab it out of the fridge, throw it in the microwave and boom, I'm done. So I do recommend finding a really high quality meal prep company and the other thing is, is you would think it's cost all this money but the reality is, I mean, if you buy high quality foods usually like grass fed meats, organic rices, et cetera, it probably averages out to about what that, what those meals would cost anyway, had you made them yourself. So, you know, I know it is, it, you know, it's not cheap in general food nowadays, but if you can swing it, I do recommend getting a meal prep service. Then you have no excuse to get your meals in at work, get your meals in wherever. It just, it does free up so much of your time. Highly recommend it. So yeah, I'm going to crush this meal down right now. And then we are going to go over to the gym, meet up with Lonnie. So we start out with the machine. Start out machine. Why well, I, I like to start out there so you're not like jerking shit stuff up. Yeah. Right away. Three, two, one. Double contraction on top. Okay. So when you say double, you mean you're gonna go up one, two, back down. Okay. Up, so one, like two. up half, half up, and okay. Yep. Half, half. This is the type of shit I don't do on my own ever. Okay. Squeeze your shoulders back up. Up, down all the way. And then full. Boom. Up, up, down all the way. Up, up, down all the way. Up, up. Put those shoulders, yep, yep. Come on, keep coming. Up, up, again. Up. Good. Up, up, down. Three more. Up, I got you. Two, up, there we go. Now we working. Come on now, here we go. Up, up, down, good. See that's, woo. That's that feeling we search for. Yeah, that, that's the type of stuff I, I haven't done as much. Right? You go through these workouts and you know, you think you're doing your job and then you go in and you do your job and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh it's yeah. It's crazy, I honestly like, I remember when I was on prep last time, it was like, I don't know, like the transformation that I was able to make in the physique was due to the training, how we were training. Mm -hmm. Cause I just, I mean, if you looked at me in the beginning, the first check-in photo, like I gained so much like- Density? Density just to my physique that it was like, it wasn't just the body fat dropping. Yeah. It was like the first time I had trained like that consistently. For a while, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we hit it hard, bro. You know, the thing is, like, my chest's a little sore from two days ago, and I've noticed, like, when I'm training hard again, I'm still not, like, fully recovering in between, you know? When I blast and test, it'll, it'll fix Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That'll fix it for me. All right, three-second Three-second negative? Yep. Two-second pause on top, three-second negative. One, two, three. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, nope. Yep, uh, three, two, one. Up a top, three. Two, go. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. One. Okay, I say got two at the top. One, two, three, two, one. Ah. One, two, three, two, one. Squeeze to your elbows. Ah. Squeeze to your elbows. One, two, three, two, one. Keep the scalp. Squeeze. Ah. One, two, three, two, one. Two more. One, two, three, two, one. One more. One, two. Down. Ah. What are we doing here? Up and down. Try to force them out. Come on now. Squeeze it first. Squeeze it first. Squeeze. Squeeze. There you go. Squeeze. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Come on now. Two. Come on. Stay in there. One more after this. One more after this. One more after this. That's for you. That's for you. That's for you. Boom. Woo. There you go. Woo. We'll stay Brutal. one more. We'll stay with one more. All right. We'll do some yeah. sets, then I'm gonna peel a weight, okay? All right, so like a drop set here? All right. But yeah. Force through the elbows, get into the thumbs. Up and down, squeeze it. 
squeeze. Stay in there for a second. There it is. Squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two more. One more. Down. Okay. I've never seen you, anyone else train like this when, I'm, when you're training them. Do I just get abused or? No, no, I'm kidding. People. I'm saying because I usually don't see you doing these types of reps and movements with that many people. Yeah, there's like only certain people. I mean, I'm oh. sure Jeremy, is this how Jeremy trains every day? Or? Every day. Yeah. Yeah, that was a 10 weeks of assault, bro. It well, I know tough. Jeremy fucking does it because. He, yeah, he, does, we, he loves it because he stays out of injury. Yeah. Ready? Oop. There, squeeze. 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 Ooh. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Right down. What do you, 190? 190. Could be worse. Yeah. I mean, where were you coming from before? Huh? How much were you way before? 180. Yeah, 180. I just feel I'm a lot fuller. Oh, just the up and down rep. Pin them back, pin them back. Go. Go. Up and down, straight up, straight up. Boom. Oh, oh yeah. See squeeze. There you go. Yep. It squeeze. makes light weights feel heavy when you do it right. Yep. Squeeze. Pin it back. Uh. Pin it back. Five more to get there. Four to get there. Three to get there. Squeeze it through. Uh. Squeeze that thumb. Here we go. Two, two, two. Uh. One, one, one for you. Uh. Oh, yeah. We'll go up from there. You make the 65 feel like hundreds. Uh. Oh. Stay right there. Come back. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on now. Five. Six. Come on. Push to the front. There you go. I can see it. Squeeze it. There you go. Four to get there. Three to get there. Two. Come on now, these are the grow reps. Come on now. Two for you. One for you. Control, control, control. Sweet to the elbows. Elbows, 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 elbows. Okay, three up top, one full. Three up top, one full. Keep pinned back, keep pinned back. One, two, three. Squeeze them together though if you're going to do it. Yeah, right there. That's where you should end up. Up. One. Two, squeeze with the elbows. Three, now one up top. Come on now, ready? Squeeze the elbows together. One, squeeze the elbows together. Two, three, one up top. Here we go, boom, two. Last one, here we go, 12, get to 12. One, come on, up, squeeze the elbows. You're bailing out. Up, one up top. Go down, and up. all the way down, all the way up. Yeah, like for me, I feel better when I train the way that we're training right now than when I train, yeah, like real heavy all the time. Hey, Dylan's yeah. got that style. We were talking about that uh, uh, Asian karate guy. What? Wait, what do you say? Oh, uh, we were talking yesterday. I couldn't figure out how some of these girls have these sweats like this, but their shorts are showing, and then they have a crop top, like, yeah, right. and then Sorry. they have their hair pulled oh, in yeah. the middle. And then there's guys that have like, the dark sport, big thing with no short, the shorts like this. Short, yeah. And then there's guys with that, and then yeah. the tight thing, and it was like an anime it, yeah. thing, yeah. I like Here. to do like sweats and the and, a, and the beater. I'm out of I'm out of style, Dylan. Up and down, just up and down. Okay. Squeeze it back. Up. Come on now. Up. Squeeze it. There. Squeeze. There we go. You got three more in you. You got three. You got to get eight. Come on. You got to get two. You got to get one. got to get one. Come on. Squeeze the chest. Work the chest. Drop down. I'll do one more. We'll make it to 90s. What do I get into? What do you mean? Like, like Adam, people watch that. What do you get into to watch? I usually watch like, you, like educational videos. I don't videos. know. Yeah, that. But like random shows like... Peaky Blinders, I like. Oh, I love that, yeah. yeah. Are you Tom with Shelby? I fucking wish. What do you think, though? Like, you think, what, I need like 20 pounds of muscle, probably? Which just feels like a fucking lot, though. It How tall like are you? How tall are you? 5'9". 
Oh yeah. You need 15. So yeah. 11 to 15. No, I'm talking about pounds of muscle, not 20 though, you don't think? I mean, just how you carry it. You need to sculpt. In terms of lean tissue, like right now, if I did a show, I'd probably weigh 175. 75. So I need to be 195. Yeah, 20 pounds. So I need 20 pounds, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Neil. Oop. 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 Three more. Two for you. One for you. Yep. Oh, squeeze. Do that. You're short changing it. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze the elbows. Now pull your shoulders back. Squeeze. Come on now. Earn it. Come on. Let's go. Come on now. Come on. You got to at least get four more. Three more. Come on. Two. Come on. Come on. Drop your... One more. There you go. Because you're going to be better no matter what, right? Yeah. You took all that time off. You're going to surpass your look, weigh thing. You'll be yeah. denser and everything. For sure. I, I just feel like I think a lot of it's just time, but I think I'll get everything back quickly because, you know, I just because of what I've been doing over the years. Mm -hmm. And then coming back, it's like, you know, it's just a muscle memory. But I think it's just all about, like, for the posing for men's physique, it's like, it's all about just flowing good, mm -hmm. showing your physique right, and just make it look natural and show your physique properly for your strong points. Yes. You know? I don't like the super theatrical posing. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Later, when you win the when you win a title, we're gonna. Then you can, yeah. Then you'll be like this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Get your shoulders right. Go right there. That's where you gotta be. There, and then 85% up. Boom. Bam. Right a little higher. Right there. Drop that shoulder. Good. Now you're off there. Huh? There you go. There you go. Come on. Two more. One, one more. Squeeze it in. Boom. And right there. Ready? Here we go. Keep right there. Locked in. Ready? Come on. Come on. All right here. Touch me. There you go. There you go. Come on now. I got you for four. I got you for three. Keep your elbows down. That's front delt. You don't want to punch through the front delt. Keep those that back. Keep it back. I got you. I got you. And down. I'm gonna go 185 next. Okay, get these, get these. You got these. This is weight. This is your weight. Get settled. Here, get settled. There you go. Get your shoulders right. Head up, head up. Posture up, posture up here. Get your scapula behind you. There you go. Now squeeze the chest. Don't just get through the movement. Squeeze the chest. These five are gonna be hard as shit. Come on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now you're in it. Come on, get through it. Get through it. Don't, don't. Come on, you got three to give me. Earn these reps. Two to give me. One to give me. One to give me. Keep that shoulder down. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Down. Come here. Squeeze your chest. Squeeze your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hard. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze it with the elbow. Come on, right there. There you go. Squeeze. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Make it hurt. There you go. There you go. Make it. There you go. One more set here. Oh, coming down. Squeeze with your thumbs. Right there. Come down. See you above. Squeeze. Squeeze. You're right there. You're good. Your good shoulders are good. Don't fidget. Don't fidget. Just keep coming through. Right there. Yeah, I know. Just stay right there. I want to fidget. Give me four more. Come on, four more. Four more just right there. You don't need to. Three more. Three more. Three more. Stay right there. Two. Come on. Two, two, two. One. Down. Okay, let's go. Flies. Right here, two in here. One, oh. two, all the way out. Watch your shoulders. One, two, out. One, two, out. One. One, two, lift your chest. Good. Keep your chest up. Keep your chest up. One, two, oh. one more. One, two, and down. Shoulders back. Try to do like all the way this one. All the way. 
Shoulders back, chest up. Boom. Right through your pinkies. Go right through your pinkies this time. Boom. Pinky. Feel that there? Feel that? There you go. There you go. I feel like when I put my palms together. Okay. How are you going to do it? And the pinky. Just don't roll with that front delt. Four more. Three more. Two more. Come on. One more. Now. All right, so we're gonna put a little cap to that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It possibly is gonna be all over the place because I was pretty much just filming the entire workout. I didn't really go out of my way to talk and stuff like I did the previous video. I do think that a couple things you can take away from this video is number one, the way that you lift the weights, okay, is something that you should really be focusing on, right? Because as you saw in this video, I was doing 65s through 95s. Now, I can throw up 120s for reps, okay? However, it's not gonna be the same type of form and squeezing throughout the entire movement. So again, there's a time to throw the 120s around, but there's also a time to slow things down, really focus on the contraction, the time under tension, and, and you know do a lot lighter of weight. So that's something you can take away. Uh, we definitely did a really brutal workout like to failure on pretty much every single set. That type of training is not something I'm gonna recommend for naturals, you know, to be doing all the time, especially. It's definitely a more advanced training style um, when you already have a good foundation built. Uh, however, you know, throwing in workouts like this once in a while, a couple times a month, can be beneficial if you're natural or, a, you know, more of a, an entry level lifter. Um, but yeah, I just wouldn't recommend training like this every single day. But anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. And if you guys have any questions, want to see other stuff that I'm not showing you now, comment below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video next week.